Alright, next up. What do we got? Flowers for fallen friends. So I'm fairly sure this is a relatively simple quest, at least in at least uh, regarding getting extra points, I, you can't get any. So they should be in the cemetery, or at least the Crossbow Cathedral. I'm getting kind of peckish. Do I have some food nearby? Mm. Yes, I do. Uh, oh, this main mountain path. I have some little cookies here. The graveyard next to Crossbow Cathedral. Okay, it's the what's it called? The graveyard keeper, the cemetery keeper. Mr. Quint, sorry to bother you. The police. That's right, sir. We're from the special. We're from the special support section. Coming about your request. It's a bit strange. Like some people can't tell that we're from the police, and other people can. I don't know how they can at all <laughs> when they do because we're just random people outside of uniform. Okay, he just wants three flowers. Detective notebook is so good. Hmm. Weebus flower near the police academy. Requiem flower, uh, sold by Tally's General Store. And Fainal flower. Uh, near a watchtower near Crossbell's East Exit. Okay. Yellow, blue, and white symbolize the repose of the soul here in, in Crossbell. Flowers of these colors are arranged into, bouquet, into bouquets, which are traditionally offered during funerals. Is this that language of flowers thing? I believe this is a slightly different form of uh, floriography, Randy. I assume they are meant to reflect, to reflect Crossbell's state colors. I think a tricolored bouquet uh, was offered at Guy's funeral too. Um, sir? What's up? You suddenly went quiet. Hmm. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm I ain't even from Crossbow to begin with. Hmm, fine then. You know what to do. Off you go. Understood. Okay. I mean yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> like the only two the only people from Crossbow in our group are Lloyd and Ellie. Everyone else is a dirty foreigner. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh Okay, I guess let's start with the police academy. It's been a while since, we, since we've been there. I mean, we've never been there because it doesn't actually exist in this game. But it's been a while since we even went to the intersection. It was West Crossbow, right? I hope we don't end up in a fight. <laughs> Or for any of these things. It was this way, right? Uh, maybe not. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize what that was. No, this is the way forward. Okay. Uh, yeah, it must be down here. Yeah, that's the police academy. Are these them? Leavus flower. Okay. Aren't these yellow? Aren't these yellow ones the Leavus flowers we've been looking for? Probably a real pain for regular folk to pick them because of the location, right? Yeah. It is right in front of the police academy. Considering how far apart these flower beds are scattered throughout Crossville, it's fairly difficult to gather a three-color bouquet, and that's why most graves today are decorated with a single type of flower. 
Tricolor bouquets are usually saved for funeral services. Huh, learning some sorry, learn something new every day. Traditions must face reality eventually. I'm surprised they don't just have a flower shop somewhere that keeps them. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Or that grows them. That's one. The next would be the one in Tally's general store. So let's do that next. Tally, give flower. Flower. Why do you only sell one type of flower? Yes, actually, we're looking for some requiem flowers. Ah, I see. Did Mr. Quinn send you? I guess he must be a regular. one of our only customers who buys those flowers from us. Him and a sparse few other devoted individuals. Wait here just a sec, okay? I'm sure we have some behind the counter somewhere. I, I bet they don't have... <laughs> I bet they don't have any. Um, pardon me. I don't have them. You have to go get them yourselves. Whoops. Why well, let the bracer suck up all the glory when we can do it when we can do it in no sweat? I second that. Sounds like we're all on the same page. I mean we're gonna have to go run and get the other one anyway, so. Do you happen to know where Requiem, Requiem flowers grow? Ah, I see, you're planning to get them yourselves? Well you should find some blooming on the edge of Main's mountain path. About halfway down the branching road that leads to those old ruins, if I recall. Okay. Uh, so, Main's Mountain Path, after the intersection, towards the old ruins. <laughs> Shame we don't have no Oz cards, so just leave us at the other ruins or stuff. been around here maybe, maybe it's towards the ruins themselves don't quite remember still can't kill those huh around here maybe ah that looks like it Found Requiem Flower. These blue ones are the Requiem Flowers, right? That took ages to find. I know, right? Imagine how hard it would have blown if there weren't any here. Now, now, you two. The flowers are here, so it was worth it, right? Yeah, we got the job done, and that's what counts. Hmm. Okay, now we need to head back. And the last one should be an East Crossville Highway, right? It's so nice when I see Red Sepeth come out because I never see it. <laughs> I never get any. I feel like it's always the lowest amount I have. Okay. Uh, Crossbow City North Exit. Okay, now let's just verify the location real quick. Uh, Famous Flower East Crossbow Highway by the Watchtower. Okay. Let me save while we're at it. Well, we're almost at the end. And I think this last bit has like a funny... A funny thing. Uh, a trick to it. I don't think it, it can be failed. But... I love... I love saving. I love saving so much I have to do it. All the time. Is it these ones? Fennel flower. Oh, these white ones are fennel flowers, aren't they? This location is fairly close to Crossbow City. So I'd imagine people frequently come by here to pick them. Yeah, doubt any strong monsters are chilling at a place like this. 
Regardless, weaker monsters are still a threat to children and the elderly. True enough. Shall we get going? Are you saying that a regular person can, like, fight that thing? If you say so. I mean, that's like saying, oh, it's, it's no problem if you find a rabid dog while you're out and about. Like, you're a grown man, you can take care of it. Like, that's terrifying. Anyway, we got everything. I think we can just turn it all over to Mr. Quint. We're back. Hmm, faster than I expected. Did you get the flowers? Yes, please check to make sure we got the right ones. Now he tells us, they're all mushed over. Did you get into a fight on the way? <laughs> These are the ones, all right. Your efforts are much appreci appreciated, special support section. It's doing our job, sir. Man, getting all those flowers took way more work than I was expecting. Even tallies had run out. What are the odds of that? Well, we still managed. Sir, may I ask you something? What is it? It's not particularly common to gather those three specific flowers except for funerals nowadays. What exactly did you need them for? You're right that there's no funeral at the moment. Well, since you helped me pick them, come with me, and we'll go to place them together. You'll get your answer afterwards. Question mark? What is he talking about? Beats me. Here lies Saya McLean. McLean? Could this be Arius's wife? On to the next one. The, that, that one doesn't even have a name. I forget if it was relevant for anything. This one's seen better days. Can't even make Haru's names on it. Perhaps the gravekeeper knows. Here's the last one. For Guy. Here lies Guy Bannings. Is this who I think it is? Lloyd's older brother. The reason I asked you to gather those three flowers is pretty simple. I wanted to give them to Guy Bannings and to the families of those that were precious to him. It's only natural to want to show respect to, one, to one's closest friends, right? Sir, did you know Guy Bannings? That's right. Doubt I could forget him even if I tried. Back when he was still alive, he often came to visit me in my cabin. We'd share drinks and stories till the sun rose. I never had a family, you see, so I can't tell you how many times his company saved this old man. I had no idea. I'm starting to understand the nature of this support request. When it came to, uh, when it came time for his funeral, I felt like I was torn to shreds. Your name was Lloyd, right? So you must be Guy's younger brother. Y you knew who I, you know who I am. I remember first catching a glimpse of you at your brother's funeral. Then, once I saw that picture of you in the Crossbow Times four months ago, it jogged my memory. <laughs> Your faces aren't anything alike, but I'm starting to see the resemblance. <laughs> I don't think I'm anywhere near him yet when it comes to being a detective, though. Lloyd. Actually, there's another reason why I submitted such an annoying job to the SSS. I needed to ascertain firsthand whether you four, Guy's successors, had grown any. And? Did we make the grade? Well, you finished the job, so that's something. However, you're still rough around the edges. Damn, bit, <laughs> a bit harsh, don't you think? Ho ho ho. Are you Santa now? Okay, sure. That said, I think the special support section has a bright future ahead. There's a chance you all, you all catch up to, or maybe even overtake Guy one day. And when that happens, come back and pay me a visit. We'll share some drinks, the same as I did with Guy. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. Your older brother lives on through a lot of people, doesn't he? I agree. Through me as well. Catching up to a guy that talented ain't the easiest thing in the world. It's going to take quite a while, I bet. Honestly, that goal might end up being a bigger barrier than taking down the Mafia or Crossbow's corruption, you know? Yeah, you said it. And yet I will surpass him someday. I have to. Okay. 
Thanks to you, I was able to pay my respects to my dear friends. I can't thank you enough for that. If something else ever comes up, I'll make sure to contact you again. We'll be waiting. Goodbye, sir. Flowers for fallen friends completed. I wish they had told us who this was. Because I don't remember. The parts of the marker where there should be a name have been broken and crumbled for as long as I can remember. I wonder whose grave it could be. It's interesting that she had something to say. Hmm, Saya McLean. We have seen Arios before, right? Or am I mistaking my memories from a previous game? Thing that I, I've seen him there. Okay. Uh, anyway. We have another quest. So let's see. The next side quest should only show up if you have enough detective points already. So let's go report. Uh, let's go report our completed missions and see how much points we have. See how many points we have. Oh, actually, you only need 288, so we were already over it. <laughs> Yay. So, let's check. Um, we got boots, right? Where are they? Strega P. <laughs> They don't seem great, honestly. I guess at this point I can just give them to Tio. It's such a boost in defense. Okay. Now let's see. To start this quest, we have to go talk to Imelda. Wait, wrong way. Imelda is using a communication device installed beneath the counter. What? Don't joke with me, you old fool. I've had a bar lined up for ages. It's ready, isn't it? Send it here immediately. Do I make myself clear? That geese are hung up on me. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. Did you need <laughs> you need us to help with anything? Ah, it's just you four. Yes, actually. You see, I think the stubborn old kook I know has finally gone senile. Okay, it's time for a side quest. You will work wonderfully. No, wait, we actually have somewhere to be. We gotta go to the hospital. Oh, I'm sure you do. I bet it's not for anything urgent. Hmm? After all, you had time to stop by here. Oh no, she knows we were looking for a side quest. Hmm. Oh, fine. We'll at least hear what you have in mind for us. Now let's get down to it. All I need you to do is to pick up a doll and deliver it to me. A doll? By that, do you mean a Rosenberg doll? I do. One from the Rosenberg studio, which you'll find on the outskirts of the Northern Mountain Path. Naturally, it's no fake like that one of the, Swar uh, the Schwarz action. The Swarz... Yeah, the Schwarz Auction is a genuine Rosenberg doll, one of his newest ones, in fact, and it's in absolute mint condition. Don't those things go up for millions? A single Rosenberg doll is worth the average cross balance entire annual income. Yes, well, I'm contracted as the studio sales agent. The only problem is that the maester is an old fool who despises any human interaction. Went to great lengths to find a buyer for his latest doll, and he has the nerve to start complaining now? Hmm. Why is the Meister suddenly again selling it? Ah, well, the buyer is slightly problematic. 
Truth be told, he's an infamous broker that always resells her works of art at exorbitantly high prices. Oh, uh, I, I guess he wants someone that will keep the doll. I can only assume that the old coot is put off by that. As the artist, I can hardly blame him. I don't know, guys. This one might be a bit out of our league. Excuse me? Goodness, you youngsters these days are so unbelievably lazy. Come on, I'm paying for your help. I have no I have no doubt you can change that man's callous heart and safely retrieve the doll. Uh, well... Rosenberg Studio, huh? I guess I am a bit curious about Ren. There might be some connection there with Kea as well. We can't promise that we'll get the job done, since we have other things to take care of, but if you're okay with that, we accept. Fine, fine, I suppose that will have to do. Well then, I'll leave this case in your hands, dearies. Try not to disappoint. Getting a new doll. Okay, save. Save again. We're gonna fill up the... Fill up those uh, 200 saves real quick. Main mining. I messed up. Ah. Bus stop doll studio. Oh, damn it. Ellie, why? Why do you miss? Ooh. Man, I'm not looking forward to working tomorrow. <laughs> I'm feeling very lazy. Hmm, this place seems as deserted as usual. How oh, odd, it sounded like Imelda was in contact with someone before with sorry, with someone here. Not to mention, wasn't Ren staying here too? Albeit faint, I detect a present coming from within the building. As to whether it is human or not, I'm not sure, but it is definitely there. Huh, so not even you can tell, Tio. Hey Lloyd. If what Estelle and Joshua told us about that society is legit, then... Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. This doll studio might must be connected to it in some way or another. Yep, looking like it. Well, I guess it is possible. Honestly, I didn't take them seriously at first, but given the absurdity of this... Sorry, I didn't take them seriously at first, given the absurdity of the story, but... Considering everything that happened with Ren, I'm, it's starting to sound more feasible. So that's what's going on here. So that's what's going on here. You're that young police squad Ren was telling me about, hmm? Who's there? Where's that voice coming from? We were sent here by Imelda, I presume. We're out of luck, though. My works aren't mere second-rate antiques to be handled and pawned off by a broker like her. Leave at once. Sir, please. Well, when you put it like that, what's a guy supposed to do? He makes a fair point. Hmm, still. I suppose you did make a long trek to get here. Turning away at the door would no doubt be unsatisfactory. Besides, I owe you a debt for all you did for Ren, so I'll give you one chance. A chance? What do you mean? What I mean is that I'd like to test the extent of your strength. Why do you care? The gate is unlocked. If you so wish, open it and enter. However, are you prepared? So basically, go in for a boss fight. <laughs> Should we go inside? From what he said, something's bound to happen when we open that gate. Don't tell me he went and set a bunch of booby traps for us. Perhaps it's something even nastier. Time to save. Now let me check if there are any notes about this fight. If it does any particular boss fight. Uh, it uh... <laughs> Okay, they uh, what's it called? Oh, I forgot. This is all messed up. Well, you'll see. The boss here actually uh, reflects all physical attacks. So, it's time for an only magic run. 
Only magic plus Tio. Everyone, watch out! Abu Knight! <laughs> hey, they're like the weird... Okay, th these are just enemies from the third game. Are those angels and monsters? For real, old man? This is your freaking test? Brace yourselves. They're coming! Okay, but for sure I was I was being dumb. Apparently you can't hit, hit the dolls. Um, I was just I was just stupid and didn't realize. I do want to use uh, this song, though. but they can't be blinded. Yes, no, they can't. Alright, okay, let's go in. Ah, she missed. try to get rid of as many as I can. Uh, Theo's S-Craft is magic based, so I don't think it'll be reflected by those other ones. Yeah, good. What is Lloyd's new S-Craft? Oh, it has a... Hmm, sorry, it, it has an air of effect, that's good. It's Galleon Tower, these things. I guess they'll just go and target anyone that's doing magic, huh? Uh, let's do Energy Circle on Randy. Or I guess I can get everyone, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely want to avoid <laughs> having Randy hitting our, our own people. Can we Dark Matter them again? While everyone else beats up on the Angel. Actually, I can uh, I can Aether Buster them. <sighs> okay, I can Aether Buster one of them. That sucks. Let me just throw out this. Damn it. Okay, let me holy bullet again. Uh, can I get everyone? Yes, and then I can probably... I'm just gonna shoot them. I can kill this one. Uh, then I can, with Randy, kill this thing. Well, I guess I didn't kill it, but I got close enough. Ow. What the fuck? Why? Oh, they reflect them. <laughs> okay, sure. I forgot. Um, you have Recuria. Yes. You sit on everyone, please. Okay, now we got it. This should be it. <laughs> oh, I think I wasn't paying <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying attention to their weaknesses, huh? It only takes earth damage, or I guess uh, the other elements. That was silly of me. <laughs> My bad. That was awful. <laughs> that was an awful fight and an awful way to show it off. Those weren't your normal monsters. Are those springs? And gears? Dolls, I presume. Dolls? What kind of dolls have you been playing with? 
Hmm, it looks like you four aren't entirely useless then. Sir? <laughs> Wipe away the shock. I'm George, owner of the Rosenberg Doll Studio. You four are the brats of the CPD Special Support Section, I presume. Everyone's so rude to us. Uh, yes, sir, minus the brat part. Did Ren tell us about the? Sorry, did Ren tell you about us? No, I don't need to hear it from her. I may be a recluse, but that kind of information gets around. I'm still not too keen on ha about handing this over to Imelda, but a promise is a promise. Here. New doll strong. Thank you, sir. I was not expecting you to hand it over this quickly, considering your objection earlier. Ha! Every doll has its own destiny. Could be this doll has to pass through the hands of a boorish broker before it finds itself where it truly belongs. It's the same with people. Each and every one of our destinies rests in the hands of the goddess. Voice words. Things do make a bit more sense when you phrase it like that. Uh, wait just a second. What was the deal with those angels and monsters you had us fight? And does this mean that Ren really is part of that society? Detective Bannings. Do you really have the time to be worrying about things like that? Huh? I'm a humble doll maker. Nothing more, nothing less. You are attempting to confront the many illnesses plaguing this land. However, you will find it impossible to find a cure for all of them. And despite all that, I hear that you intend to gaze into the bottomless abyss. That's, I mean, the same goes for Ren. Her destiny is not directly entwined with yours. Before you worry yourselves with Ren, isn't there someone else who should be taking priority? Sir? You mean Kea, right? Lloyd found her in a suitcase that was meant to contain one of your dolls, but... It appears you already know that, sir. If you know something about Keto, now's the time to spill the beans. Did you forget what I just told you? Every doll has its own destiny. It's quite possible that through some strange twist of fate, life took root in one of my creations and it became human. Come again? What are you even trying to say? Heh, <laughs> to be clear, no dolls with her characteristics have ever been crafted by these hands of mine, as far as I can recall. The entire incident was likely someone appropriating the Rosenberg name. Phew. That was in bad taste, sir. So you really don't know anything about Kea? About Kia. At the very least, I'm not aware of how she became involved in that auction. I assume neither is Ren. Ah, well then. Damn, and here I was hoping that you'd have some kind of clue for us. That reminds me, is Ren inside? No, she just left, actually. She's quite the fickle child. You'd be wasting your time to try and catch her here. Wait, I have no more to say to you four. Go on, take that doll to Imelda. And tell her to deposit the mirror in the usual account. Hmm. And that's all she wrote. Let me just check around here to see if there was something. Size? Like the says, uh, was it Central Factory? The Society of Ouroboros, eh? Do you know that old man is part of it, but one thing's for sure those guys are anything but normal. I'm curious about those dolls. Even the Epstein Foundation is still incapable of creating things of that nature. And Liberal C CCF has only just begun their research into them. The Rosenberg studio is becoming more and more mysterious with every visit. This might be too much for us to handle at this point in time. I think you might be right there. Well, we still have a job to do. Let's take this doll back to the antique shop. I'm sure Imelda is waiting for us. Sounds good. And there we go. The hidden subquest for today. So let's just turn it in, shall we? Uh, I don't want to get into a fight again. Okay. I wish I could just uh, teleport directly to the city. Uh, back alley. Okay, just talk to Imelda to turn this in. Will we even get to see the doll? 
Is that what I think it is? Would you like to confirm its contents? Hmm. It looks like just it looks just like just like Ren. It's like a mini Ren with a different color uh with different color hair. So that's the nuts new doll. I cannot fathom how you convinced him, but bravo! I'm not sure if we convinced him or if he was just impressed by our raw stubbornness. Either way, it's a marvelous doll, isn't it? I've seen some before at a friend's place, but each one truly is a masterpiece. Yes, yes, remarkable. I was expecting it to be about the same size as Kea, though. That sweet little girl you brought before? Sorry, that sweet little girl you brought before, eh? There are Rosenberg dolls that are about her height, yes. Jorg seldom makes them, though, so you, so you never see them on the market. That's also why they're said to fetch such outrageous prices at the auction. Perhaps older dolls were more her size. For example, I remember Bells being a similar height. Oh, really? I have a question, Imelda. Are you aware of the other dolls Rosenberg Studio has made? Other dolls? Whatever do you mean? How about giant dolls that can move and try to kill you? And specifically ones that look like angels and demons. The automata? The archaisms, maybe? If anything, I'd say those are actually his specialty. I've heard their movements have become even more precise since he started incorporating orbital technology in them. I you know about them? And you didn't? Even Arkansas uses them on stage from time to time. I believe the soldier with the spear in their is their latest production. Sorry. I believe the soldier with the spear in their latest production was an automaton. Wow, that's actually super interesting. So they're just selling them out. <laughs> Can they be used as actual killing machines? Everyone's weirdly, weirdly blasé about it. I never would have guessed, not in a million years. Well, surprise, the troop sent an entire order for complex stage props too. Everything from the lighting apparatus to the water control to the wire flying system was entirely George's handiwork. I suppose it's still far from being public knowledge, though. Well, my mind's blown. I will admit that I thought the stage was incorporating impressive tech, but does that mean that those angels and monsters function similarly? Who's to say? That old coot's full of mysteries, not to mention stubborn to the bone, and hates just about everyone he meets. But as long as he puts out a new product every so often and lets me dip in on the profit, I don't have any complaints. At any rate, you certainly didn't disappoint, Iris. You'll be the first on my list to call if I ever need a hand again. Ah, if you insist. So, there's our, <laughs> our secret quest for the day. Uh, okay, we're finally getting these, I see. I need to look into acquiring some evergreens, maybe get, get Lloyd some of that evasion tank goodness. Or maybe Randy would be better since he's actually doing stuff while he's up in people's faces. Uh, what did I want to check? I wanted to check Jingo's shop while I was at it. I may be able to trade some stuff in for uh, for an evergreen for her, from her. Jingo, show me your equipment. Nope, not yet. What's this? Team material. Oh, this is for an ultimate weapon, isn't it? At the end of the game. Okay. Uh, all right. So, what's next? Was that the final uh, mission, or can we continue with the story? Yes, I believe we can continue with the story now. Uh, I'm gonna make a pit stop at the Orbal shop. That way, we can get. Uh, we should be able to open some slots. Yeah, we we actually been saving up a few a few red. Uh, sorry, we've been saving up some red sepith for once. So let's see. I guess we should go for cheap stuff, right? <laughs> it's Randy. Let's do one more for Lloyd. Let's do Tios. Hers is more useful. 
Okay. Now. Yeah, I guess we can uh, go over to St. Ursula. Uh, Ursula Road. Like, we were going to do a, an exam on those pills we got last time. I've just been ignoring it <laughs> for a while. さて、ま、岩姫先生に相談したいことがありまして。勤務時間中はきちんと仕事をしてください。相変わらずみたいだな。普段はとても優秀な医師みたいですけど。え、支援課のロイドさんたちです。はい。はい。ではこのまま研究室にお通ししますね。うん。岩姫先生がお会いにな
such a lovely, lovely young lady. 